Hey, this is Adam at Outlook Flooring, and today we're going to talk about um, flooring. Yeah, flooring. That's what we're going to talk about. And if you got some time, uh, then finish reading, finish watching this video, and uh, leave some comments at the end if you have any questions about what we're going to talk about. But today we're going to talk about specifically the laminate flooring. So if you have a laminate flooring project, um, these are the few components that a lot of people do not take into consideration: the underlayment and the molding. Okay, and Mohawk has made a fairly simple way when you buy their particular products. And this could go for any other company, but Mohawk has specific uh, types of stuff that goes with theirs that's made to fit exactly. And um, I'd say go that route if you do. So if you do buy a specific brand, go that route of the ones we're going to talk about today. So I have a very small deck board over here that will give you a kind of an idea of the things that people forget to put um, with their project when they're considering and doing laminate themselves in their house. However, we do the installation ourselves, we can quote them. So if you're interested in that, let me know as well. Let's take a journey over here. And I have this beautiful display right here on top of the table of a deck board by Mohawk. And Mohawk has made it pretty simple as far as what you should get. Laminate, of course, itself, you're already gonna buy that. But you gotta take into consideration the underlayment. And the underlayment is the pad that goes underneath it, and it is very, very, very important. Mohawk sells three separate ones the moisture guard, the real sound, and the silent guard. And it goes from good to better to the best one. The moisture guard is a very nice, low budget, friendly um, laminate that will control some of the sound uh, as far as the tap that when you walk on top of flooring. Then you can step up to the real sound, which is just a little bit better, a little bit more, uh, then you can pay a little bit more for it. And of course you can go all the way up to the silent guard. And on the back, it'll give you a little bit more of the information that you may have. Now you'll see a couple of different things on here. Now Mohawk has what they call a five in one molding piece and you can buy it and then you can trim and fit it based on what product you're matching it up to so in this particular case if you're matching it up to carpet you can buy the five-in-one molding with the color that you selected and um, make it fit next up to it so it's flush so when somebody walks to your house it looks like it's meant to be you can same thing go when you're matching it up to other products such as wood flooring um, tile as well this particular one does not show you the tile and wood flooring the way it's set up because it's not set up that way but that's what these uh different uh molding pieces are for so these underlayments and the molding pieces which we do call reducers and all kind of different things and to give you an idea of the five things it can do it can be a carpet reducer it can be a t molding it can be a square nose a hard surface reducer and it can be a stair nose and a stair nose in case you don't know is a little piece in there right there that goes on top of the um that goes around the steps they also have a specific tool that can cut their particular moldings now we said i said we'd talk about the underlayment just a tad bit more and of course here's where i was saying that moisture guard real sound and silent guard moisture guard you can read it for yourself it's pretty self-explanatory um so it gives you an idea of what it does do here's the uh foam density and of course you can tell that once you get up here you can get a lot of foam distance density and the impact sound rating does change as you go from 68 to 68 to 71 and the continuous sound transaction goes all the way from 67 66 to 73 so if you're looking for that ultimate sound quality um silent guard is the way to go otherwise when you do have a middle road and a very uh inexpensive introductory level one that's a very very simple way of talking about what you're going to need with your product for laminate goes um, other stuff you're going to need as well those are the things that a lot of people don't think about when they're getting ready to install laminate so now you have it if you have some questions please reach out to us find us on pretty much any social media outlet reach out to me on youtube let me know how i can answer your questions and again always ask for adam